Welcome to my continuing YouTube video series on incorporation law and tips. My name is Christopher Neufeld of Neufeld Legal. And in this particular YouTube video, I'm going to be discussing company names and domain names. So whenever somebody talks to me about incorporating a new business, I strongly, strongly recommend that when selecting their corporate name, they review in advance possible domain names that are consistent with their corporate name and do a search and make sure they can obtain the corresponding domain name to what their corporate name is going to be. Yes, there's some aspects where you might look to add additional words to the domain name, such as one city, so as to obtain it, especially if the corporate name is something that is already exists, is somewhat popular uh, in the world, and you can work with it. But it's so, so, so vital in this era of internet searches, name association with the internet, that you have the same internet name as you have for your corporate name. And why do I say that? because that's what people search for. That's what's tied to. It makes it that much easier to find, but it also reflects an understanding of the business, the importance you tie to the business. You don't want to have a disassociation between your internet domain name and your corporate name. It shows that you're somewhat Mickey Mouse if you're doing that you didn't have the foresight to connect the two. It was a fly-by-night operation. People just don't have engender the same level of trust when there's this disassociation between what the corporation's name is, what it is on the internet. It just doesn't exist. It's unfortunate, but that's what happens. Furthermore, it makes things a lot easier to search. And as you grow bigger, you become more prominent. Everything is tied to one uniform name. So you really want to have the consistency. And here's another thing. Even if you're not intending to make yourself have a considerable internet presence at the outset, the last thing you want to do is allow cyber squatters to jump in, take over your the available domain name, and then effectively hold it hostage or market it out or allow your competitors to acquire it so that they get all the business traffic while you develop your brand and you lose all the value of your brand development. Don't you want to have your brand all tied in, especially when you think you're spending 15, 20, 25 dollars a year simply to get the domain name. It's a small sum to pay. Even if you decide afterwards in the incorporation process that it wasn't the right name. Well, so maybe you've spent 25 dollars and you throw that out the window. Not a big price to pay overall. And you're able to do that because it's not much. But if you go down the road, you don't have it, you lose out on the internet branding, or you're forced to pay some extortion fee effectively to the cyber squatter of thousands upon thousands of dollars, even if they are willing to sell it to you, or if your competitor or somebody else gets that great name afterwards, something you don't want to deal with. So... I strongly urge you to consider when selecting your corporate name to also be assured that you can get the same domain name. That way you can build up your brand. That way you sh show yourself to be commercially responsible and you make an effective investment in your business. And that's our tip for today. Thank you.